Hello dear Fafsa primary students. This is Connect Plus Unit 1 Live in My World. This lesson is speaking about the ecosystem. Do you know what's meant by ecosystem? I'll tell you. Ecosystem is the relationship among all the plants, the living features in a particular area and also the living and non-living. So any relationship between the living organisms and non-living organisms in the environment, we call it ecosystem. So again, ecosystem is the relationship between the living and non-living. How could it be relation between the living and non-living? Like for example, the caves in the deserts. The animals hide inside these caves from the large animals so this is a relationship for for example the small animals when they eat the plants this is a relationship right so any relationship between animals plants or living or non-living in a particular area or in the environment itself we call it ecosystem so we have many types of ecosystem like rainforests ecosystem desert ecosystem forests ecosystems and fresh water the water that we can drink ecosystem and also the marine ecosystem and our lesson is about the marine ecosystem specially marine means the sea environment how could it be a relationship between the living and non-living under the sea? That's what we're going to see now. In this video, as you see, the fish can hide among the rocks. Can you see from the larger fish? So this is a relationship. They also uh, can eat from the plants and go out of the sea. So this is a relationship. So this is the marine ecosystem, which is the the, the relation between the living and the living here under the water, under the salt water, especially in seas and oceans. Okay, we have a special kind of plants and trees which grow in the marine ecosystem, which is the mangrove trees. What's the difference between the mangrove trees and the ordinary trees? Of course, there is a big difference. The mangrove trees grow in salt water and the ordinary trees grow in fresh water, the water of the lakes and the rivers. But the mangrove trees grow in salt water, which is the oceans and the sea. Mangrove tree is a kind of trees which grow in salt water and they help the marine ecosystem in many ways. How can a tree help in the animal ecosystem as we say huh? it's a relationship right so the mangrove trees help living and not living in the marine ecosystem let's know how the first thing they have they help also in reducing the global warming do you know the meaning of global warming yeah it's very hot these days so the increase in the temperature of the earth that causes climate change, we call this global warming. So you see that we are in winter and it's still hot. That's because of the global warming. How can the mangrove tree help with this? It reduce the global warming. It make it a little somehow. As you see, the leaves of the mangrove trees take more carbon dioxide from the air than any other tree. And this help with the global warming. How? By taking more and more carbon dioxide from the air. So this help in what? Global warming. What's meaning we, why is global warming? Yes, excellent. The increase in the temperature of the earth. Amazing. So the mangrove trees also have roots which grow high out of the water to help them get uh, oxygen as you see here and also these roots help the fish to hide among them from the larger fish so it helped the fish to survive so they help the fish to survive as they hide among the roots between the roots okay so as you see also the mangrove trees 
Many small animals and insects live among the, the leaves of the mangrove trees. Why? Because they are very thick. They are very, they are very thick. So, the small animals hide among them from their predators, from the tigers, from the lions, and so on. Also, as you see in the pictures, yeah, the mangrove trees have yellow flowers. The yellow flowers help the bees, as you see, to make a special kind of honey. So, it, this honey also is a special as it fights uh, against many illness and diseases. So, it's a very special thing to get a honey from the mangrove forest as it fights against many illness and diseases. Also, we, in the mangrove forest, we have, huh? Yeah, excellent. We have many kinds of animals and special kind of gazelle, which is the Dorcas gazelle. The Dorcas gazelle. Tell me, have you ever visited Sinai? We're gonna visit it today in our lesson. In Sinai, you can uh, see many nature reserves. What's the meaning of nature reserve? Nature reserve. It's an area of land managed to conserve wildlife or to keep the animals and plants safe. So if you have any endangered animal, animal uh, the kind of animal that's gonna die and we can't find it again, we call it endangered. Okay? So if you have any endangered animal, you can put this animal to live in a nature reserve. A special kind of plants, we can plant them in nature reserve. So the nature reserve is a place to keep the wildlife safe. So it's an area of land managed to conserve wildlife or plant habitat or other natural features. Now we're gonna explore a new place in South Sinai. This place named Napka. Napka is a national park in Sinai. Let's watch this video together. video the mangrove trees are along the coast they grow along the coast in Napk so Napk is a very big national park in South Sinai it has 4.3 kilometers of mangrove forests it has 4.3 kilometers of mangrove forests now let's practice tell me what is a national park in South Sinai we have just said Excellent napk. Mangrove trees have thick wood and this help animals to hide among them. Thick wood, thick leaves, excellent. And the mangrove trees grow in water, huh? In salt water. Okay, excellent. Mangrove trees roots grow high in the sky. So to get what? Yes, excellent to get oxygen so you have to tell me after the video how can the mangrove trees help in the marine ecosystem okay and wait because we're gonna take another kind of ecosystem in the next video goodbye